This chapter in no way went down like I thought it would. Like, for starters, Wraith's relation to Makarov. I thought, and it wasn't just me, it was like everybody in the fairy tale community was coming up with so many theories. We, we were thinking, hey, maybe he's the second son of Yuri, maybe he's Makarov's secret son, maybe he's the brother of Loxus. There were theories galore, but it turns out that the third condition was met because Wraith was originally a member of fairy tale. And you know how it goes in fairy tale. Like Natsu once said, blood ties don't matter, we're all family here. So that's the reason why the third synchro rate was met. Because everybody in fairy tale considers everybody else an actual family member. Secondly, Wraith's killer. I thought that Natsu and him were gonna like team up in some sort of way and track down the killer, and it would turn out to be the master of Diablos or something like that, but no. This guy just got killed by monsters and that's it. it was, there was no coordinated attack. There was no man behind the curtain with some ill intent. There was nothing. <laughs> He's just killed by some straight up monsters. And finally, after Wraith learns all this information that he was a part of fairy tale and that he was just killed by monsters, after he gains his memories, he just passes on. And that's the end of Wraith. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This chapter in no way went down like I thought it was going to go down. I thought Wraith was going to be in the story for longer than, what, five chapters? But I guess that was just never Hiromashima's plan. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I don't like this chapter because it didn't go down the way that I thought it was going to. It's, in fact, the exact opposite. That's the reason why I like this chapter so much, is because everything was unexpected. Well, not everything. I did expect Wraith to be a part of Fairy Tale, but most everything everything else was unexpected. Also, one last thing before I close out this video. It was so cool to see a young Makarov, and it was even cooler that Makarov remembered Wraith after all these years. That was actually kind of a touching moment when Makarov was laying on the ground and he said, Wraith, I've missed you. And Wraith says, you too, Makarov, right before he passes on. This was just a great chapter, but with all that said, I must bring the video to a close. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.